All right. The year's 2020. We're going to get these fucking earbuds out of here. Fuck. Leave. Okay. The year's 2020. Uh, it has gotten to the point where in music, the number one genre is rap. Everybody listens to rap. Everyone loves, well, maybe not everyone doesn't love rap. Maybe there's Karens who love rap. But everyone loves rap for the most part. Everyone listens to it in some form or fashion, whether it's today's stuff, they like the old school stuff when they were young, stuff like that. Now, everyone knows TierMaker.com. Everyone makes those tier lists. Well, today, it is my turn to do my tier list for the best rappers in 2020. So we're gonna do this real fast. I'm gonna try not to do a dissertation on every rapper, but if you want my opinion, here we go. Okay, first, we're starting with the numbers before we get into the alphabetical order. 21 Savage, 21 Savage. He's going in the very talented, nearly flawless category, and the reason why I like the way 21 Savage carries himself. His music is very good. He's been on top for years, you know. Saw him in concert. He was very good in concert. Shout out college for free spring concert. I enjoyed myself at his concert, like I said. 21 Savage, you're in my heart. 6 9 Snitch 9 Whatever you want to call him. Here's the thing. Most people would probably put him in trash, but I'm not going to put him in trash. You know why? He's going in almost lax in quality, but isn't entirely trash. And he's going in this category because, you know, 6 9 lyrically is not very good. Um, but his music, at least a lot of his older songs, when he's gotten out of jail, it hasn't been great. But a lot of his older songs, you know, like he got the stiffy, uh, you know, Hype as hell. Makes me want to punch someone in the face. So, it's completely mosh music. So, that's how I know about that. Black. Six lakh. Whatever you call him. Not bad. We'll listen to him. We'll rock with him. But I don't really listen to him often. So, I'm going to put him in this little yellow category. Okay? ASAP Ferg. I'm going to put him in this good but not great section. Love ASAP Ferg's music. Very good. Yamborghini chain, risen piece of my superior. Like, come on. Great song. Great song. But, you know, not, not one of the game's top legends. He's going to be remembered, but not on the level of a Kendrick, of a Drake, you know, stuff like that. ASAP Rocky. A lot of people did not like testing. Shout out Fat Holiday. But I like testing. Hi guys, ASAP Rocky here with my new album, Testing. Boom. ASAP Rocky, very talented. Boom. Absol. I don't really have an opinion on Absol, I'll be honest. I don't. So, unsure. I haven't really listened to Absol music. Um... Two chains, right? This is two chains. Yeah, that's two chains. I, I'm blind. I can barely see that picture. Two chains, very talented. He's going up there. Gotta love two chains. Fifty Cent. He's got to go in the goat category. Fifty Cent is one of the greatest of all time. He was molding Pop Smoke, a mentoring Pop Smoke, and Pop Smoke was gonna be. A game changer until he got shot rest in peace everyone still loves pop smoke that's the way it is a boogie um a boogie not very good in my opinion but I'm gonna be a little generous a boogie is gonna go in the almost lax quality when he was on the come up he had a good song he had a couple good songs that are memorable so that's why a boogie is going to go there. Action Bronson. A lot of people who don't know me will be surprised by this. But. Best in the game. Goat. And the reason why is he's my favorite rapper. He is my favorite rapper. Love him as a rapper. Love him as a person. I love 
All the shows and stuff he does. Ancient Aliens. Fuck, that's delicious. Saw him in concert twice. If he came around the bend again when concerts can happen, I would go again. Action Bronson, one of my favorites. Um, and if I ever meet him in real life and have a conversation with him, I will come. Regardless, Aesop Rock, um, not Aesop Rocky, Aesop Rock, don't know who you are. There we go. m and Amine, um, I kind of want to put him higher, but eh, in my head, his catalog isn't as big as maybe some other Amine diehard fans. But Amine does have some great songs, so he will be in the occasionally good category. Anderson Pock, he's going to be going in the good but not great tier, and I love Anderson Pock. He's sweet spot in my heart. Bad baby, trash, fuck out of here. Uh. Big Crit, um, I haven't really listened to a lot of Big Crit, I've heard good things about him, but that's where I'm going to go, um, Big Sean, going to go in the good, not great, when I was in middle school, early high school, Big Sean was that dude, um, recently, hasn't had the same success, but that's how it is, Black Boy JB, um, to be honest, I don't know a single Black Boy JB song that is not Look Alive featuring Drake. But I do like that song, so almost always lacks some quality. He'll go there. Blueface, trash. But uh, Bleed It, I like Bleed It. That's a good song. Brockhampton, uh, again, I don't really know many Brockhampton songs other than the ones that have gotten popular on TikTok, but I like those songs occasionally good. Cardi B, trash. The fact that you won a Grammy over Pusha T, uh, Mac, right? It was Pusha T, Mac, Nipsey, Astroworld, and maybe Drake? I don't remember. I think I'm missing someone. But the fact that she won a Grammy over them... <sighs> God. Okay. Chance, you would have been higher. You would have been in the very talented nearly category. But because of the big day, you're getting stuck in the middle. Um, Hot Shower sucked, and so did the rest of that album. Uh, we don't care that you love your wife. I would hope so. Chief Keef, good but not great. Gotta love Chief Keef, but he's not as popular as he once was. Still making music, still not terrible, so there's that. Gambino, I will also put in that category. Gambino, he hasn't been really doing a lot of music lately, but... When he does do music, very good. Comethazine, you're going in the middle. Eh. Comethazine, no. You're going in the almost always lacks quality section because you do have a lot of hype songs, but overall, not much variation or substance to the music. Cupcake, I don't really know anything about you. So there's that. Baby, you're going to go in the good, not great as well, but you need to really bring the heat in the future, otherwise you're going to get demoted very fast. A lot of people are on his ass because they say he has a similar flow, but, you know, he, he it's his own sound, he's going with his own sound, I'm not going to knock on it. Danny Brown, I've heard from friends, is very good, but I haven't, I don't think I've ever listened to a Danny Brown song, so I can't comment on that. Denzel Curry. Very talented, nearly flawless. He does not get the respect he deserves. All the music he drops is amazing. Designer. Um, trash. Because you had Panda and that's it. And you're still somehow around. Drake. Best in the game. Goat. Never missed. Need I say more. Earl Sweatshirt. Good but not great. Um, he's very talented. Has a lot of potential still. Even though he's been around for a while. But the... Instrumental on East is God Tier Awful. Uh, LP, one half of Run the Jewels, if I'm correct. Could be wrong. Um, occasionally good. I'll put him in that category because I know Run the Jewels is very good. I've listened to the music, very talented. But for me, I just, for some reason, I can't get into it. I don't know why. Um, Eminem, go. Need I say more? Even though his music now doesn't slap as the old stuff when he was on all the drugs, Eminem still very good. Uh, Famous Dex, uh, trash. Uh, French Montana, also trash. You're making this easy for me. 
future very talented nearly flawless um but you know er sometimes future doesn't hit for me that's just how it is um appreciating future more than i used to so there's that jeezy you're going here again some good songs but overall no one really wants to listen to jeezy g herbo you're gonna go in the good and that great um growed on me a lot ptsd great album so there's that gucci occasionally good Gucci is kind of going downhill, in my opinion. That's just how it is. Gunna, I'll put there too. Maybe a little too generous for Gunna, but Gunna, he has some slaps. We'll put it there. Hobson, I'm going to put him in Good Night Great. Every time I listen to Hobson, a lot of people don't like his character. A lot of people may think he's corny, and that's fine. But lyrically, very good, very sound, good music. Ice Cube, he's a goat, so we're going to put him there. Isaiah Rashad. Good, not great, um, and that's not even because of a musical standpoint. He's very good, but he doesn't have the popularity that the rest of the guys above him have, so that's kind of how he is. J. Cole, go. Uh, there's that. Jaden Smith, I want to rank higher because Icon's a very good song and he has a lot of talent, but other than Icon, none of his music has stuck with anyone, so there's that. J. Rock, <sighs> I haven't really listened to J-Rock either, I'll be honest, so unsure. Jay-Z, GOAT. Uh, G.I.D., very talented, nearly flawless. In the next five years, J.I.D. might be at the top of the game. Um, he's amazing. And uh, best line ever, tell me how you really feel, headass. That's all you have to say about G.I.D. Joey Badass, also going in good, not great. Same with Isaiah Rashad. All of his music is very good, but doesn't have the popularity it deserves. There's that. Joyner Lucas going in the middle. Occasionally good. You know, there's times where he wants to go in his bag and he really goes in and it's really good. But other times he's either corny or he tries to bite off of other people's flows. So there's that. All right, we're back. Taking, you know, took a little second there because I can't see from where my camera is and I just wanted to make sure it was still recording. So we're just going to continue. JPEG Mafia, don't really know much. Juice, Juice, very talented, nearly flawless. I have to be honest, he's up there. The thing is, dude, he could have been one of the best rappers ever with the way he was able to freestyle and put bars together just off the top of his head and... You know, he went for the more singy, sad shit, because that's what he felt in his heart. But truly one of the most talented people in the game. And it's a shame how he died, but it was either he went to jail for a long time or he died. And that's kind of a shame how that's kind of how it came to. Rest in peace, Juice. Musically, very gifted. Kanye. Oh, Kanye, you are off the rails recently. Watch my last video if you want to know about that, but you are a goat. Uh, Kendrick Lamar, also a goat. Who the fuck doesn't have a name on it? And to be honest, I can't. I don't know who that is. And if someone wants to tell me who that is, I'm sorry. I I suck. Um, so don't know who you are. Killer Mike. I haven't really listened to you. Kodak. I used to hate on Kodak a lot, but I was looking back on it recently. And uh, Kodak... I'll put you in the very talented nearly. And it's a shame that may be a little too generous in the grand scheme of things, but recently I've kind of appreciated Kodak more than I have in the past. So there's that. Kyle, um, he just doesn't really have popularity around him. His music's not terrible, but there's that. Um, Lil B, good but not great. Maybe a lot of people wouldn't agree with that, but Lil B holds a special place in my heart as well. And Lil Baby. Lil Baby, very talented, nearly flawless. He's having a crazy 2020. He is on everyone's features. Everyone's features. And I'm killing it. So there's that. Lil Dicky. I'm going to put it this way. Lil Dicky very musically talented. He's a gifted rapper. He could out-rap most people. 
But the thing is, his just mindset is not on just being a great rapper. He wants to do other things, try other projects. Earth wasn't good. Freaky Friday was all right. Um, his brain LP with his side character from that one from fucking the pillow talking song. It just didn't. It just didn't work. Professional Rapper was a great album, but that was five years ago. He hasn't done any serious rap in five years. His show is great, but. It's a shame because he has so much talent and he just doesn't want to use it right now. He wants to do other things, which I respect using rap as a platform for bigger and better things. I don't see any wrong, any see anything wrong with that. If it was me, I'd probably do the same shit. So I can't really blame the guy. It's just a shame that he's not as serious as rap as he could be. Lil Peep, he's all right. Um, not His music is not for me, but not terrible. Rest in peace. Don't do drugs. Uh, this is a little pump, right? Yep, trash. Goodbye. Uh, little skies. Also, yes. Uh, Uzi, good but not great. Uh, he had a few good albums, but Eternal Take not very good. The deluxe for Eternal Take not very good. Um, in general, no matter what artist you are, if you drop fifty songs in the span of a month, it sours really fast, and that's how I feel about Uzi right now nothing that can really draw me in um Lil Wayne go duh Lil Xan trash duh Lil Yachty had, has a few bangers but overall not really hitting it for me and his acting appearances not very great either Logic Logic, logic, logic. Good but not great. Again, his come up. Very good. Under Pressure. Amazing album. My favorite album of his. Under Pressure, probably my favorite song of his. But, the last one or two years, Logic has been... Ugh. Downhill, fast. And, uh, it's a shame. In a couple days, well, it's Wednesday, today, Friday, he's dropping his supposed retirement album so if that's the case hopefully it's great logic you will be missed as hard as it hates to say mac miller very talented nearly hasn't really dropped a good pro project unfortunately his untimely passing kind of prevented him of getting the discography i mean he does have an extensive discography and it's all very good but Goat tier, Ugh, I hate. I hate to say it because Mac is very talented, one of the most talented around. While he was around, but it's just doesn't really. I don't know. Not goat status, as the rest of the guys in goat status. So, Mac, rest in peace, Mac or MGK. A lot of people might not agree with me, but putting in Goodman, I agree. But he has talent. Just because he came out Eminem doesn't mean he automatically is a loser, okay? In my opinion, his disc was better than Eminem's, even though Eminem's was bad, but there's that. Um, uh, Macklemore, I'm not going to put you in trash. There's probably talent. You just don't get any respect from anyone, including me. Who's this? Made in Tokyo. Trash. Meek. Very talented, nearly flawless. One of the best in the game. I'm glad him and Drake are friends again, because then we can possibly see some new bangers for them. I'm going to zoom out again, because we are cramming the board, and I can't see who's on the bottom. Migos! Occasionally good. Occasionally good, because Migos on the come up, up to Culture 2 was good, after Culture 2, garbage. So there's that. Nas. Nas is a go again. You know, kind of after Illmatic, it's kind of slowly gone downhill, slowly trickled down ever since, but in my opinion, Nas is a goat. Nicki Minaj, a lot of people might put her higher, but she's going in this category. Nicki Minaj does not do it for me. I do not like Nicki Minaj at all. So there's that. Is this Nipsey? That is Nipsey. Okay, I can't see. Very talented nearly. Rest in peace. Good. No name. Um... Don't know any about her music, but dissing Drake, or not dissing Drake, wow. 
dissing J. Cole and the way she was saying, or the way she was dissing J. Cole, I didn't agree with that, so there's that. Here, here's the thing. Offset, again, all the Migos are going to go in this category. Um, Clout was a good song. I, I honestly like Cardi in that song as well, but there's that. Playboy Cardi. Um, is entirely trash. Actually, no, I'll put, I'll put Cardi higher because Dial It was great. Everything after that, not good. Post Malone, very talented, nearly flawless. A lot of people hate on Post Malone. I don't know why. Not really a rapper anymore. Kind of, He kind of went more pop as well, but very good. There's that. Don't know who that is. Princess Knock. Pusha T, very talented, nearly uh, amazing. Pusha T is very good. Just because he went at Drake again doesn't mean he lost. He kind of won that, in my opinion. Quavo, also going in occasionally good. Ray Shremmerd. Ray Shremmerd, not... Meh. I had a couple songs early, but now not very good. So there's that. Who the fuck is this? Rhapsody, I don't know you. God, I gotta fucking zoom out again. Okay. Rich the Kid. Trash. Rihanna, I don't know why you're in here. You haven't dropped music in a long time and you're not a rapper. But Rihanna, very talented. Amazing. There's that. Royce to 5'9". Good but not great. I love his lyrical work. Just doesn't have the popularity as the rest of the guys. Run the Jewels going in... I'll put them in good but not great. They're talented. I forgot Killer Mike is one half of Run the Jewels. So there's that. Fuck, I gotta put LP up now. So yeah, Run the Jewels. Very talented. Just their music, I don't know why. It just doesn't go for me. Schoolboy Q. Good but not great. Has some bangers. But doesn't have the consistency of the people above him. Sheck West. Mo Bombo is a great song, but the rest of everything you do sucks. Ski Mask. Very talented. I'm going to put him in good and... Okay, if my computer wants me to fucking... Ski Mask, good, but not great. Actually, okay, fuck it. He's going in very talented because he is very talented. Slim Jimmy. Where did I put Ray Strummer? You're going to go there. You're obviously going to go with your bandmates. Smoke Perk. Uh, and they're going to play like a Fortnite. They want to put me in a limelight, but I don't want to be in the limelight. <sighs> Watch the Tim Westwood TV one hour of Smoke Perk Freestyle. You'll understand why he's in trash. Snoop Dogg. Goat. God damn it, dude. This list is getting... Too fucking. Oh, okay. This list is just getting slightly crammed. Okay. Sway Lee. Again. Going there. T Pain. Good, good, but not great. Take off. Going at the rest of Migos. Take K. You're going in trash. You literally had the race, and so now you're in jail. Damn, this list is fucking huge. T Grizzly. Uh, good, but not great. Has some good songs, but nothing too crazy. Tory Lanez, very talented, nearly. He can do it all. He can rap. He can do the singing shit. Very good. Tory Lanez, other than being 5'3 and possibly shooting Meg Stallion in the foot, very good. Travis Scott. I don't know if I want to put Travis in the GOAT category. He's honestly he's honestly borderline. Travis's discography is very good. There's that trippy red, almost always lacks quality. He has a, a couple good songs, but... 
Ty Dolla Sign, occasionally good. Same with Tyga. I'll put Tyga in that category. Tyler the Creator. Very talented, nearly flawless. I love his whole discography. He's very good. Vic Mensa, good on the come up. Recently has been trash. Then Staples, good but not great. Very talented. Just doesn't get any. Doesn't get the recognition. Okay. Wale. Good but not great. Hasn't done any too much crazy for me recently. Same with Wiz. Wiz is here. X. Good but not great. Like he's he's very good, but a lot of the stuff posthumously, not to his undoing, just not very good. Corday is also going to go in this category. He's very good, but he needs to get more recognition to be up a tier, in my opinion. But very talented. Namir almost always lacks quality. He's not very good. Who the fuck? Oh, it's YG. I See, we had to zoom out so much to fit this list. YG, good but not great. Hit or miss for me. Melly, same thing. Young Thug, very talented, nearly flawless. Oh, NBA Young Boy, almost always lacks quality. Freddie Gibbs, very talented, nearly flawless. Listen to Alfredo, that tells you all you need to know. Who the fuck? Oh, injury reserve? I don't know who the fuck you are. Mosey has a couple catchy tunes, so he's going to go almost always lacks quality. Uh, Lil Nas X, I'll put you in the middle because I like Lil Nas X, but he's not really rap. He's more pop, so there's that. MC Ride. I'm sorry. Is that Megan The Stallion? Yes, it is Megan The Stallion. Good but not great. Probably the best female rapper currently in my opinion, but again, her music doesn't really do it for me because I don't have a pussy. So, oh, it's that Mike Eagle guy. Don't really know you. Rico Nasty. I don't want to disrespect her. I haven't really listened to her. So she'll be almost, she'll be put in that category. Roddy Rich, very talented. He's going to be a huge star. TR Wack, again, you're going to go in this category because I really don't know. Female rappers just don't, I don't know. Just what female rappers don't, or what female rappers talk about doesn't relate to me because I'm not a woman and I'm not a bad bitch and I don't have a, and a wet pussy. So, there's that. YK Osiris, you're trash. You can't sing a fucking lick for your life. You're all computers. If you don't believe me, watch the Double XL Freestyles. Terrible. Uh, Young Lean, I haven't listened to you and you're you're probably trash, but... Zilakami, I'm going to put him in the middle. I've heard very little of Zilakami, but he's good from what I've heard. MF Doom, good for not great. One of the best lyricists ever. So there's that. There's the list. Uh, okay, that's better. There's the list. Other than there's the list. I'll scroll down a little bit for the unsure, but that doesn't matter. Here's my list for best rappers currently in 2020. This video is longer than I probably expected and I'm probably gonna have to cut all that out. But, here's how I feel. I'm putting it on the table. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you stuck through or if you just skipped to the end to see what my opinion were, that's fine too. I don't really care. Just watch the fucking video, okay? Thank you. I'll see you soon.